Hyper Hexagon. Welcome back to another Hyper Hexagon episode of Banjo Kazooie. Oh We're yeah. Going into the Mad Monster Mansion, if I dare, which I do. All right, TFP. Like, I got, I got to ask a question here, and I've been kind of like curious about it. Like, when it comes to scary games, like, what's, what's your take? Are you like no, yes, only if they're good? Uh, I'm generally yes. Um, there are some exceptions. Um, I know like Amnesia got really popular, but I'm not a huge fan of. Oh boy, spooky ghost changes. Oh, well. I'm not a huge fan of that style of horror game where you just kind of run around. It's not run around. It's roam around. Cause you just I like there to be a little bit more than. Uh, you just want Mr. X constantly just chasing you for forever and ever I mean, and ever. yes. That, that is also true. <laughs> Mr. X is one of the greatest horror video game villains. Because he's just a big old zambie in a trench coat. And it's like, hello, friend. You were, you were just like that he punched me in the face that one time. That was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Yeah, the the obligatory monster haunted house level, because you know you gotta have that in this game. There is also a number taken in that tentacle. Oh, this water doesn't hurt me. For some reason, I thought the water was going to hurt me. Yeah, it kind of gives that like goopy, nasty-looking vibe, doesn't it? Like toxic water. Yeah. I didn't actually think that was gonna work, but so be it. Oh boy. Don't drown there in, the, we go. in the, the small pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's some Oregon Trail stuff right there. Just drowning in three feet of water. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you haven't figured it out, the worst thing about this place is the literal maze that it is. It's bad. Like, I like to say that I have a really solid sense of direction. This place is just awful, though. You got 13 seconds. But the problem is, is do you know where you're going? Not remotely. Oh, wait, I think. Oh, there it is, but I need to get through this door. <laughs> Big oak door is very tough. Stupid bears not very are fast enough. This checks out. But now we have that uh, cleared out, so. Yep. You would think. This again, but later. You would think Banjo would be able to just like sneak in through there, but nope. Tia Pizza Bucket. That's Thank true. you. <laughs> What do we say, TFB? Do we say you're welcome for <laughs> pooping an egg into your head that made flowers grow? <laughs> Not. You hate to see it. The egg pooping mechanic is maybe my least favorite just because it is, seems very finicky. It's not the best. It was for comedic effect, I think. Oh, that would make sense. To be fair, it is very funny. It is. And for like, you know, a, a, a nine-year-old boy, it's like the funniest thing ever. I don't, I don't not hear much of that. You're welcome. Hey, you know. You're the reason well, Speed well, gets mad at us when we don't say bless you. It, you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> because when we were here, there have been multiple times where he sneezes and I've just not thought about it. And then he'll be like, hey, hey DFP, what's going on? And I'll be like, wait, what? What happened? <laughs> hey, you're welcome. See, see, this one gave me something for pooping in its head. That's because he knew that his friends... Oh my god, those eyes look like the McNuggets from McDonald's. You're not wrong. <laughs> the... 
someone has a court case. I don't know who it is here. <laughs> I think uh, I think McDonald's would have the court case because I think well McDonald's was very much so first before Banjo Kazooie was even thought of as a thing. That would make sense. Can I, can I like stand on this? Yeah, I can. If he's standing on roofs, are dangerous. I can tell because I fell off. But it was kind of impressive that I landed directly back on the uh, the gravestone. I that, feel I gotta give you that. That is true. Oops. Oh. That was less impressive. Actually, yeah, I was gonna say I feel like you just make the jump up there. Yeah. Oh, oh. That clock has no hands or, or hands. It also has no feet, technically. Yeah, but clocks don't normally have feet. Ooh, it's someone like, found the secret. It's like Super Mario 64 up in. Ow. It's, it's, I guess, uh. Uh, Banjo, because Rare is just, you know, getting all the lawsuits, huh? I guess. Oops. I'm just walking into everything. Don't yeah. mind me. I think you could kill um, those. Probably. I, I, not that way. I think. There we go. Yeah. I don't remember if they give anything significant. Or if this is just like. Uh, they give me health, which is good because I lost a bunch. I was gonna. I'm gonna also say that this is a very simple trick, but it still looks pretty good. Of the, the stained glass projecting on the floor. Oh yeah. And like, my double secret room. Yeah, that's what I was wondering if you you kill all those. Though, though they, they kind of messed up the trick because the way Banjo stands on that and doesn't shadow properly. Yeah, but, I mean, this it was, what, in the 2000, 1999, maybe? You look, gotta cut him a little slack. Look, I want perfection in my Banjo Kazooie. Besides, this is the remaster. That's true. You gotta wait for the uh, the RTX version that someone will decompile and do, <laughs> you know? They probably already have that. I don't know if there's a Banjo-Kazooie one. I know there's the Super Mario 64 one. I want to say I saw there was like a Paper Mario decompilation, decom which That's... seems like that would be pretty cool. Is, is there enough of that game to, like, merit that? Eh, people like Paper Mario. I don't know. Oh, I mean, I know people like Paper Mario. I just, I don't know. I feel like it's the kind of game where trying to get it to ray tracing level like doesn't make any sense. I think it's mostly just like for for resolution boosts and stuff like that. Because I think it, I do think that game that would benefit from like just natively running at a super high resolution. Actually, I've never seen a, an upscaled version of that game. I usually always play that game like at bare minimum levels. And the ROM I used to have like ages ago used to be just like a dumpster fire of a ROM. And like every time you go to Toad Town, they're just like crap out. Oh god, ghost gingos, please. Can you not kill them? I tried, I jumped at them and did the... Can I do like... Nope. Yeah. They, they do seem to be invincible. Okay. Unless I can do this maybe? Oh, there we go. That's what you have to do. You did an attack or something against them. Yeah, oh, wow. I turned invi I turned invincible. <laughs> oh, well, I don't know why you didn't get like any of that until a little bit. I don't know either, but I couldn't really see where I was in relation to it either, so... Yeah. I don't like that they made the health recharge surrounded by bees. That, get that gets it's... a thumbs down. It's not great, but 
don't know. It's weird that it's it does seem like that's become just like a thing as the game goes on. It's just, oh, now there are bees by the, uh, by the health recharge yeah. beehives. Which, I mean, I guess, on one hand it makes sense because they're beehives and there would theoretically be bees. Uh. Uh. <laughs> there would be bees. Tiny little metal, you know, projectiles. Are those used for anything else? Other than... Um. Sometimes when I was like in college, I would use them for like weights and stuff and like engineering stuff. Oh yeah, that's, that's fair point. When I took like a physics class. We used them to do little individual weights and stuff. Yeah. Can you do the the birdie bee he or whatever bee he bird? Oh, probably on the door. Yeah. I can. Okay. Ah. I was like, I know there's a way in there. Can you solve the puzzle though? Oh. Uh. Maybe. Jan Janak Bez Oyo <laughs> at Tanagra. This isn't the Star Trek episode Darmok. <laughs> okay? This is not that instance. And if you say anything else, depending on what you say, I may have to retort with Shaka when the walls fell. It's. That's fair. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Oh wait, I bet. I bet I, I bet I can do it. Are you sure? Dan. Joe. Did you hit N? I think so. I don't know. I don't think you hit. To be fair, there hasn't been any noises when I do this, so I don't know even know if I hit B. I I I don't think that what you're doing is working. I don't think it is either, but I'm going to finish it up, because we're so close. <laughs> that didn't work, turns out. All right. But I'll... it does, you can spell Banjo-Kazooie with these letters. You can, and I, and I can give you a hint on something. Remember, okay. this is the, a haunty, scary, a spooky vibe thing. Now think about the game Phasmophobia. And how that could apply to some to what you're working on right now. Oh, can I like? Oh, I was gonna hope if I could like. Ouija board. Hello. Oh, maybe maybe that was what you had to do then. Oh. Try it again. No. no. Maybe There's you get... a spooky spooky ghost in a time limit. Maybe you gotta just defeat him then. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, he's back. You just spell it backwards or something, because that would be difficult. Also, this is like a. Oh wait. There you go. Hey. Okay. It's not gonna work in 15 seconds, but. 
<laughs> Not with that attitude. You forgot N again. I did. I don't know. Oh, there it is. For, I wonder if that reads as Z as well. Oh, that just killed me. <laughs> and then I oh. accidentally walked on the uh, thing. Cool. That would be very mean if it was, like, pranked. This is actually, uh... Did you actually lose a life? No. Okay. It just sent me back to start. Yeah, that's what I kind of thought. Either way, still rude. Yeah, I mean, it's a fair trade. You know, you failed. It, yeah. You know, it punished you. The real question is, do I remember how to get back there? And the answer is no. not. <laughs> You've already been all over here. Yeah, but like... Oh, I remember gonna... going in here, which is... Oh, do we have to go through this again? Yes. Yes, you do. Don't get killed by the evil... Slimer uh, Jinjos. You're very fast. Wow, oh, that reminds me. I really want to set up uh, the Ghostbusters game. That Ghostbusters game is really good. It's super good. A lot of people think it's so good that they honestly think it's just the third movie. The real third I mean, movie. I, I mean, I think it was written by like Harold Ramis and Ivan Reitman. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what? I'm just gonna do this thing because we opened the gate, and now I can. You can use do it. Speedy shoes. And you know where you're going this time. I assume this is the 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 uh, titular Mad Monster Mansion that we are going to go into. You mean like? Or maybe this is. Like this specific building. Oh. Uh, I'm not going to do it if I get caught on geometry. Though. That's unfortunate. Wow. Uh, remind me not to hire you to be the uh, the kicker of the football team. <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, I think what you're going in is the the church. If I had to be okay. honest. I. Would be a bad football place kicker punter. I have done 40 yards out. So that's to the 30 yard line. After that, it gets really fuzzy and it's more of like pure luck if I can cross the, uh, the uprights. Because, like, I did play uh, European football slash soccer. Uh, as a child, but I was more of a defend person, not a kick very hard person. You're a get ball out of here kind of person. I was I was get ball out of here person and pass to people who could do the kick very hard mm -hmm. thing. I was a goalie, which is very shocking as a musician because like that's a bad, a really bad it position to play. <laughs> I've definitely had quite a few uh, soccer balls just come, like being kicked from like two feet away full throttle into my hand I, I i tried to play goalie a couple times uh and then i received a <laughs> soccer ball directly to uh a very uncomfortable area oh and then i didn't play goalie anymore <laughs> tfe were you not wearing a cup no <laughs> Good job, TFP. I'm so proud of you. Okay, can can you hear the difference between the notes? The the problem here is because I'm hearing it on a slight delay, so like kind of not really. <laughs> you don't hear any difference between those two? No. There's no difference between those two. Oh. So, so I, I could hear the difference, I guess, in that there was no difference. Yeah. 
Some people have problems with that. Like, they get paranoid and they just don't know. They think that, you know, they're right or wrong. But, like, every single one of these notes is a B natural. Even though that you're playing right now is a D. That's a D. That should be a D flat. And it is not. That should be Maybe a this piano is just really out of tune. They, they've tuned the piano so everything is a B natural. I mean, I've, I've seen instances of, like, them or people doing that kind of thing, but like it's not not really much of a practicality to tuning that many notes to the same. And like you think about um, like grand pianos or upright pianos, like it's not 88 strings; it's 88 times two and three. So yeah. to sit there and tune all of those like is such an impractical thing. How do you get up there? <laughs> is now the question. I actually do feel like it was by the the music. Oh, that would make sense if I can like. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah. This is a very tall. <laughs> Why is this church weirdly giant on the inside when it looked like a normal banjo kazooie room on the outside? I, you know. It's banjo. It's rare, okay? They can do whatever the heck they want. They watched too much Doctor Who while making this level, and they went, Hey, what? What if it's bigger on the inside? <sighs> for, for those of you all that are wondering, <laughs> I'm not a Doctor Who person. Like, I'm not sure if I'm on the fiery, passionately hate it, or just really can't get into it, but there's something about Doctor Who that just, like... I, which I feel like is, is a very shocking thing. Like, you would think I would probably like Doctor Who. I do not care for Doctor yeah. Who at all. Yeah. I just... Look. Sometimes... I just don't get it. Into it. I've been trying to get, like... And another thing, too, is that, like, I watched a Christmas episode once, just, like, as an introduction those, to Doctor those Who. Those are maybe not the best <laughs> to start, I will say. <laughs> <laughs> not that there are not good Christmas episodes, just maybe don't start with those. <laughs> but even still, why is this bird so mean? Yeah, I don't know. You're getting wrecked by that guy. But yeah, like I, I tried. It, it just, I'm. It doesn't make any sense. Part of it is probably because time travel. Yes. Ooh, where is that located? It's in the eyeball. I was gonna say, like, ironically, I feel like my favorite Doctor Who episode also does not have a lot of the Doctor in it. <laughs> Which is kind of weird. Whoa! Okay, we're good. Whoa. Everything's fine. One down. I need eggs. I do not need eggs. Yeah, you got more than enough eggs right now. Like I said, I, I need I, I don't think. Feathers, yeah, oh yeah. no! Oh, no, you don't. You're taking a hit. Oh no! Nope. Still took a hit. <laughs> yeah. I admire the attempt. I try. Oops. I don't Oops. think that I could be wrong. You don't think what? Oh, I was going to say, can you ground pound the pedals? Nope, those are some very stuck pedals. It's unfortunate. Also, those are the wrong kind of pedals for this organ here. Oh yeah, that's right. Because this is this would be an organ because it's got the pipes on the top, and then yes, I made the joke about the strings, so I don't it wouldn't have strings, right? Yeah, you're. Oh yeah, you're right. It would have the pipes. Therefore, so in in, in, in understanding organ technology, then for every single note to be literally the same, all those pipes would have to be shaved to the exact same shape. 
which means then for the ones that are shorter, like on the ends there, those would have to be elongated somehow, which makes this even worse. They would be built into the into the, the body of the organ, I guess. I'm, I'm sorry. Are, are, are you flying all the way up there just so you can get that gold feather? Yes. <laughs> but also, I'm going to try and do it without landing so I can also fly down to get other stuff. I'm going to run on red feathers trying this. TFP, I'm disappointed. This is the stubborn kind of thing I would do. Well, they kill the ghosts, and we're in the ghost zone, so, like... Where is, where is Danny Phantom? He's going ghost. I give up on trying to not, uh... Waste the red feathers. <laughs> All right. Now here comes the problem. How do I get down without taking damage? Yep. With my one hit point? Yep. <laughs> That's a great question. Uh, I could try to do the thing that I read on the internet accidentally, which might be funny. Which I think is if I do like that, I should be fine. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that, that I did not know about. Stupid speedrunners. Yeah, a friend of mine mentioned uh, that if you ground pound but then bounce off with the second part of the thing, you just don't take damage because you're coded to be invincible. So you don't take... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So you don't take fall damage until you land. Take extra punishment, basically, is what you're saying. Yes. Uh... Actually, is there a way to do this without, um... I feel like you can get on the pews. I can! Now, as far as Not why like they're called pews, I don't know. Oh. Uh... You know, that's a great question, but I don't know the answer to it. TFP, I got some bad news. Uh, I have to open the door again? Yes. That's not that bad. I just goofed it the one time. This has not been your level, though, I will say. It really hasn't, which is weird, because I like the spooks. Oh, hey, here's this again. Let's try this again. You're going to forget about the four jiggies. The, or, uh, four the four notes. Four music notes? Yeah. Can you not slide on my grunties? I don't know, but it seems like I shouldn't. Bottom right. And... Go. You know, I haven't touched my banjo in like over a year. Uh, I don't know where it uh, got off to, but I, I don't have a banjo, but what I do have uh, is a canjo. A canjo? A canjo. Are you familiar with the canjo? The one string, not a banjo instrument? Yeah! Does yours, that thing. does yours also have the American flag pasted across it? No, but it, it does just have like an actual can of spam that's been washed out at the bottom. Oh, okay. Does it sound any good? Uh, it sounds like a one-stringed instrument using a very cheap metallic can as a, a sound echo or amplifier. Right, Whatever then. the technical term is. Um, oh, that's a good question. I, I guess maybe the resonator would be like the proper term for that. Makes sense to me. Is there anything 
fun besides eggs on the building. The answer is yes. Yes, there is. It's weird that you can't do the big jump when you're riding Kazooie, considering it involves riding Kazooie. I think it's just the, the shape it and how you do it. I think you gotta land on the gutter. Not into the gutter. Oh no! I think if you don't move wherever you land, I think you can just switch to Kazooie that way. Let's try that. You were right. Yeah. Really. I know some things. It's true. Like what the the thing that makes acoustic instruments louder by making the sound echo all fun is. Yeah, that's all. Unlike me. That's all shaping like just the instrument so that the the, the waves of air can vibrate properly when they're. Um, quaked into existence, essentially. Stupid note down here. I'm so <laughs> mad. Bug. Santa Banjo coming down the chimney to of, give gifts, or was that the other level? I don't know how fire just kind of presents itself like that. Like, um... Maybe just, like, little... Only the, the sides have little flammable bits in them. I mean, I guess you could just, like, off-place two logs... Yeah. I don't know if that's how you were supposed to do that. It worked. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me, let me take a look at that one. <laughs> I don't see what the problem is. It worked. <laughs> It says, enter the chimney and you'll fall into the fireplace of a dining room. A giant ghost guarding a jiggy is sleeping on the table. Avoid stepping on the wooden floor or you will wake him up. Jump across the chairs and onto the table. Simply run and grab the jiggy. Oh, I guess I didn't have to use the invincibility. <laughs> okay. I think part of it was you were so fast that like you just happened to get in there. So yeah, basically, well, you cheated, is what happened here. You know, I'm okay with that. This is... Why is there a tiny door in this room clearly designed for giants? <laughs> it's... The, what is happening in this, in this level? Have you ever seen Alice in Wonderland? I mean, yeah. So, you know, if they can do it, so can Rare. I guess. Now, the real question is, why the hell are those chairs over there, like, awkward like that? Yeah, I don't know why they're <laughs> Like, what's going two... on there? <laughs> well, one of them is sideways so Riker can dramatically step over it, just to bring Star Trek jokes back. He, look, no, he can do that on any chair there. He doesn't need a specific... If, if he needed a specifically designed chair, the Riker maneuver would not be a thing. It's true. Bats look weird. Well, you know, they're, they're, it's hard to make a bat original. Yeah. 
guess. Uh, I don't know if I closed the door or opened the door. We're or about to find out now. On this life. Why did the camera do that? Uh, it probably hit the, uh, the, the maze. Or the walls of the maze, I should say. Right, let's go back and clear up that chapel, and then that seems like that might be a good place for this episode. We're gonna spend the next five minutes literally going into this place and <laughs> grabbing four notes. Oh. Well, I, my timer was off. It's fine. <laughs> Maybe there will be a little more. <laughs> since... Since I can't keep time, apparently. Wait, are you implying that, like, you, you think we are not at 30 minutes yet? I'm implying that because, for some slight inside baseball here, because I start recording before we start actually talking, the timer was uh, a little different. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, we're at, I, I think, if, if I had to get, this is a huge guess. I'd be really funny to see the post uh, video, like the final thing, and see where I actually land here. So you can't edit it to be funny. <laughs> I, I can't awkwardly slow it, slow the video down or speed it up to make it like. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just gonna say that based on some stuff, we're at right this very second, 35 minutes and 22 seconds. If I had to guess. I'm guessing we're going to be a little bit off. We will find out. <laughs> of course, this is not going to go up to another probably like half a month or month, but you know, that's okay. Yeah. I will know sooner. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And, and then there's the other thing. So, so as this is recording right now, we still have not, uh, technically started hyper hexagons on the upload routes and stuff oh no okay don't die yeah. well I you just don't, don't die you got one note there we go it's fine i killed okay him. i re-killed the ghost man I, I think the proper term is uh, uh the ghost jinjo putting it to rest i guess Oh, 61? But yeah. <laughs> Come on. This is very unfortunate. Is there anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, there's nothing behind the organ besides the, the health. No. Oh, no. <laughs> this is very unfortunate. <laughs> Are you actually going back up to go grab one more just to make it look I, better? I want to grab four more <laughs> to make it a nice even number. <laughs> nice rounded number. But the other secret is I got to figure out how to get like get up there. <laughs> oh. I feel like you can actually make it from that tombstone. Can I, like... Oh, actually, yeah, you, you might have a better chance here, actually, yeah. Let's see what's going on with Mumbo. I see two. <laughs> I see two. Is there anything... Is, is he hiding things in his rafters like he is wont to do? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's looking too good here. It's not looking too good. Oh, there's an invincibility feather. Oh, now, you have, like now you have six of those. <laughs> He, that's, you can only have ten. No, but, but no, but we had a nice five, and now we have a six. I want to, oh, we have eleven mumbo tokens. <laughs> this is just this is just falling apart. Also, I'm a pumpkin. Look at me, I'm cute. How, okay, wait, wait, pause the game. How many how many jiggies do we have here? Uh, Twenty nine. All right. This, so, Look, this, <laughs> All of this is wrong. <laughs> but you have 200 eggs. Hey, you know. Can I? Oh, I can't. I was going to just dump some eggs just to mess it up. 
<laughs> but I can't because I'm a pumpkin. Uh. <laughs> and the video never ended. The video never ends. I want to get off Mr. Banjo's wild ride. Uh oh. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. <laughs> Wait, can we leave the, the video in the in the middle of the grass so when we come back? Okay, so it'll be like, where did he go? Yeah, there you go. I like this plan. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> wait, that's the wrong button. Oh no, hold on. Thanks for watching this HyperX on episode of Banjo Kazooie. We fell apart at the end, but it's fine. Bye. <laughs> See you next time.